Hey everyone, in today's video, we are going to integrate the call manager with the contact center express. So basically, I am hope uh, you know what contact center express is. Basically, it's a smaller version than the contact center enterprise. So this uh, contact center express where you can host like almost 400 agents. And in case of enterprise, it is more than 400 agents and it provides you more uh, um, features when compared to contact center express so contact center express is suitable for the business mid-sized business where you don't uh, expect uh, like more than 400 users in any region okay so uh, right now um, what we have done is like we have installed the contact center express as well as uh, we already have are using the call manager so uh, we are using the contact center expresses 11.x version and the same version is 11.x uh, version is call manager so uh, after the installation is done you have to basically uh, do some integration between the call manager and the contact center so in order to do that what you have to do is you have to come here and log in with your credentials what you have used uh, initially during the installation of the contact center okay so as soon as you enter the credentials so it should uh, start asking you for some information in order to integrate uh, between the call manager and the contact center okay so now it is asking for the call manager publisher ip address uh, and um, or maybe uh, the call manager ip address and the excel username and password so in uh, this is our lab and we can use the admin credential but if in case if you want to use separate credential for the integration then please go ahead and create a excel user in call manager and use the same uh, information here in order to integrate but we are going to use this as uh, uh, admin credentials of uh, call manager so we'll enter the call manager ip address as it means uh, 172.161.0.160 and we are going to use a username as uh, administrator. That's the username that we are using for the call manager. And then click on enter the password so that it can integrate. So we'll click on next. Okay, so it is asking like to install a valid license. If in case if you don't have a valid license, what you can do is you can click on next. So uh, what it'll do is as soon as you click on next without uh, uploading a license, it is going to run the system for next 60 days. I'll click on next here. So uh, uh, it is uh, it is uh, activated all the components here for the C6 data store engine and historical database uh, etc. So um, I paused the video. Actually, my system was a little slow, so I paused the video. So it took some time for uh, this particular components to get activated. But yes, so it gets activated as soon as you click on next, right? So I'll click on next again. Okay, so it'll uh, prompt you for this particular publisher activation. So we are not going to make any changes here. So we'll click on next here again. Okay, so it has come to the Cisco Unified CM configuration. So right now on the top, what you see is uh, the call manager publisher uh, address. So this is my publisher here. So in case if you have multiple nodes like a publisher and subscribers, so all these uh, subscribers will be listed here. So if in case if you, want, if you want to integrate uh, for the Excel uh, service provider, you can attract from this particular available to selected service provider since we have only one. So we are going to use that particular one. And then it is asking you to uh, provide the, you know, uh, RM, uh, Jatapi user, so Jatapi uh, uh, call manager, right? And the credentials. So we are going to use this uh, CTI manager. So which is uh, 172.116.16.0.160. Uh, we are going to push it to the available, from the available to the selected CTI manager. And then we are going to use a Jatapi user call, uh, CCX Jatapi and then we are going to create a password here so what will happen is as soon as you enter this credential uh, username and password here so it is going to create an application user on the call manager so right now let me show you if i log into the call manager go to the application user by default you will not see as c6 jetapi user created here so once i click on next so then it should be able to create uh, the c6 jetapi user uh, on the call manager 
And next, what we are going to do is we are going to select, uh, move the available CTI manager to the selected CTI manager here. And here we are going to define the RMCM uh, user. So we'll use C6 RMCM user and then enter the credential here. And then click on next. So let's give it a couple of minutes so that, uh, you know, it can integrate uh, the system. It, it can create uh, the user accounts on the call manager. Okay, so it was able to uh, proceed from the previous step and it has come to the system parameter configuration. So it is asking like how many number of direct preview outbound seat you want to use. Maximum is 100. So I'll not change this setting and codec will be G711 only we are going to use. I'll click on next here. Okay, so now we have to select the language. So in here, you see there are multiple languages available. So we are going to keep it as English and we are going to select this as ENUS. In case if you are from different region, you want to choose something else, you can go ahead and choose that. Click on next. Now it is asking me to create a you know, CCX administrator user. So what I'll do is I'll uh, add my name as the CCX administrator and then finally click on finish okay so right now if you see like uh, it is completed the setup like setup is completed the c6 engine is going to be restarting now so you see like um, there are a few things for you, what it sees like c6 setup completed call manager configuration status done license upload done system component done publisher activation done system parameter configuration done language update parameter completion done user configuration done setup is completed all right so what we can do is we'll close this browser and op open the url again okay so i'll close the previous browser click on administrator and now let's try to log in So it says like a license warning, some of all temporary license is going to expire in 29 days. And then it also says like uh, the VM uh, profile or the virtualization template, what I've used for my lab is not matching the OVA. So of course, I mean, you can always, you know, whenever you are installing your CCX, you can always go ahead and, uh, you know, deploy the OVA and then install the UCCX. But in, our, in my case, I've used it manually and hence it is not matching the OVA and that is the reason you will see this error. Okay, so we don't have to worry anything about that. So now uh, we are done with the initial uh, setup. Now there are a few things what we need to do is we need to create a few of the pools uh, between the contact center and the call manager. Okay, in order to create pools, what we can do is we will go to the subsystems, Cisco Unified CM uh, Telephony and call control group here. And then click on add new. So let's give the name as uh, uh, call control group, sorry, outbound. And let's say it is asking for the CTI puts. Let's give 10 CTI puts uh, for outbound calls. And it is asking like uh, whether the uh, port is, um, sorry, I uh, will create inbound first. So we'll create a call control group inbound. And whether, now it's asking like whether the group type, the call type is going to be inbound or outbound. So we'll click here, click on outbound. Next, it is asking for the device prefix. So we'll enter the device prefix as CCG. And it, now it is asking for the directory number, what directory number uh, you want to assign for the CDI ports. So we'll, uh, let's say we'll use the directory number as 10,000 600 for example 601 maybe and then device pool will use its uh, um, default device pool and in case of css i'm going to use the uh, internal css in case of uh, location let it be have num and partition should be let's say internal click on more and in case if you want to uh, modify any of these parameter please go ahead and modify this parameter so what i'm going to do is um, 
I am going to select the voicemail group as uh, profile as VM profile and rest of the things I'm not going to modify. So I'll click on add. So as soon as you click on add, what it is going to do is it is going to create some ports. You see here it is creating started creating some ports 10,006, 10,007 like that until 10,610. Uh, 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 10, so you see uh, it is created uh, 10 CDI ports. Let's validate in the call manager. Ideally, the uh, port should also reflect in the call manager and should be registered. Okay, go to device, phone, click on find. You see, CCG 16001 to 16010. It has created uh, the CTI port and this CTI port port is registered to this UCX. So likewise, what we can do is we can create uh, outbound port as well. So this is for the inbound and let's create outbound ports as well. Out, let's create 10 more ports here and we'll see it as outbound. And here we have used 6010 and we'll use the, use it from 16,011 device CSS internal internal partition and then the voicemail profile let us select as VM profile click on add okay so now what it will do is it will uh, try to create those 100 ports in the call manager so right now if you see like there are almost almost 14 ports so let's wait for uh, these ports to be completed So you see, if I click on find right now, you see uh, these are the ports that it has created further, right? Uh, this is how we can, you know, create uh, the call control group uh, uh, inbound and outbound ports. Let's wait for this process to complete. Okay. So these 100 ports are created. Next thing what you can do is you can verify the serviceability and then see what the services looks like. So you see uh, all the services are in in service. If in case if you see anything like which is in partial service here in case of six engine or something else, right? That is a problem. So we have to fix the partial service. So we have to make sure like all the uh, um, I mean service are in the call manager are in service. So the reason you see is um, M here is because we have only one primary node for the U6 in case if you have multiple nodes, like one primary and one subscriber. So you may see as like uh, something else. So right now this is publisher is master. So in case if let's say the subscriber is master, so you can navigate to the subscriber from here and then see if that subscriber has issuing as master, right? Um, this is the very basic integration between the call manager and the UC6. I hope uh, you, this is helpful for you. Uh, do reach out to me if you need any sort of uh, um, help. All right. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.